All right, is everyone having a great conference? This is this is the best conference I've been to in 30 years. I mean, it used to be called BoostCon, then it was C++ now for a while, and here we are, now that's what I call C++ 30. <laughs> um, anyone been here for more than 10 years? More than 20 years? Marshall, you've been here every time, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to share with you some of my thoughts about the exciting talks I've seen at this conference so far, and my favorite recent developments in C++. <laughs> so we all know and love Matt. He gave a great talk about from games to cryptocurrency, Matt Goldbot. I really enjoyed that. I'm excited about his new blockchain MMO. Of course, uh, since Colorado became the center of worldwide C++, we've seen a lot of coroutine talks. And Arthur gave a great talk. He always gives a really rigorous but accessible talk. I certainly learned a few things. I also learned a few things at Tony's talk. I'm not exactly sure what I learned, but I needed more time to process it. <laughs> and uh, I really enjoyed giving my talk. Um, and uh, who, who loved the keynote? I mean, Herb's keynote was great, wasn't it? <laughs> so I'm also really excited about the new compiler tech that we've seen lately. So we all remember the undefined behavior wars of the 20s. Um, but a good thing to come out of that was AI compiler technology in the cloud. Now we don't need to worry about header includes or modules. It's all done for us. Uh, the folks at AB and GS report up to 3x perf gains. And uh, we also have the ability to embed any other language into C++. <laughs> this actually affected GitHub. They saw about a 20% decrease in repos as everyone deleted their JSON parsing libraries. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, this is not without its downsides. Well, for a start now, undefined behavior is emergent behavior, so we really have no clue what causes it. <laughs> of course, um, it's good for those of us who are popular because the compile time depends on your social network reputation. <laughs> Um, but another downside was like a couple of weeks ago when uh, the AI actually ran into some of Sean Parent's talks and decided to stop compiling for loops. <laughs> <coughs> and at the moment we're having an issue because a few weeks ago the compiler, dis the AI discovered UrbanDictionary.com, so you might have seen a few strange error messages. Um, I don't know if you were there uh, on, on Tuesday, but we saw the creation of a new study group. SG1337. <laughs> this was formed by some concerned, mostly game programmers, troubled with the direction of what we now know as avant-garde C++, and wanting to uh, protect the interests of what's become known as C++ Classic. <laughs> Anyone wanting to join SG1337 should complain about the committee on their nearest social network. <laughs> so, of course, it's a new year. New C++ just came out, and we've got some new features, and I'm really stoked about them. I'm sure you are. One of the things we got was the alternative de default keyword. And it obviates all these old keywords. Of course, we used to have probably const expra, maybe except, and auto const. Now you just put alternative defaults, and it gives you exactly what you want. <laughs> the only question is, are you east alternative defaults or alternative <laughs> defaults west? This year, the committee finally decided to, decided to reserve the MLP namespace for the future. Uh, this is a new version of C++, so of course there are a few tweaks to stood pair. <laughs> and uh, we've got a couple of type traits to help us really write safe code. We've got stood is foot gun, <laughs> and, and stood designed by Howard. <laughs> now, one disappointing note, I was really hoping for networking the standard. We're waiting for executors. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it next time. Right. Um, finally, there's a great new Boost library, um, Boost Banana. <laughs> As you know, it's based on Boost Beast and Boost Hana. It's metaprogramming for the web. <laughs> and I'm really stoked to get home and try that out. So I hope to see you all next year. For now, that's what I call C++ 31. <laughs>